Epic Mega Games and Stone. And and I I press the space bar. I guess that's not what you're supposed to press. Um so okay. We'll uh we'll just go ahead and continue on. For the past year, Jake Stone has worked for this small shipping company and the remote solar system that he was dropped off in after escaping Stone has since been waiting patiently for those who left him here to contact him again so he can help with the plan to free his people. <laughs> Not gonna do that to me again. In a few hours from now, Stone will finally speak with one of those people and his quest for his people will be the quest for his own people will begin. Wow, look at those cohorts. And listen to that music, it's new music, it's nice. You are being hailed! Okay. Okay, pal, this is your last shipment. After this, your services to the Igni Shipping Company will be terminated. All you have to do is ship this stone tablet to Redlick in sector negative 25583, negative 10230. Once you've done that, come back and we will give you your final pay. Shipping Company? Idiot! You've been working for us for almost a year now, shipping freight to various planets in the system. There's not that many jobs around here, and you got stuck with this one. I really don't envy you. Final pay? Yes, we will pay your last payment for this trip. It will be, of course, the E-Band converter that you sold me a while ago, just as you requested. What is Redlick? Idiot! You've been there a hundred times! Is all that space radiation toast in your brain? Give me the stone. Okay, I will ship it at once. Good luck on the trip. There have been reports of pirates near Redlick, so be careful. Pirates? Yes, pirates. Don't be such a pansy. You made it before. You'll probably make it this time. Don't worry. Go to Redlick in sector 25583, negative 10230 to deliver tablet. Can't use the tablet. No reason to transport now. I don't have any other cargo. So, again, I'm going to decrease all power from shields. Uh, and the engines for now, because we're not even going to use the hyperdrive. I'm going to dump it all into my sensors. No, not my engines. No. <laughs> we already established that. My sensors. And then... Well, let's go weapons for the rest. Alright. Whoops. I wish I could type... 25583... Negative 10, 230. Okay. So... This blue planet that I'm pointing at now. Not a problem. Uh, we might just have to, like, run and gun it here. Um, so I'll get the tablet ready to transport. I don't think I can actually... Oh, I can still find my weapons. Okay. Um, but I can't, like, zoom out and look at the sensors or anything. So that's kind of a, a downer. Uh, there's the pirates. Uh, come around it this way. Because I, I want to get the e band converter before I engage them. Ah, uh, really? No reason to transport that now? Use, maybe? Can I communicate with this stupid planet? No? Oh, okay, yeah. Good, good. We need the stone. It is very rare and very old. Can you transport it immediately? What is the stone? It is a stone of old runes dating back almost 10,000 years. We purchased it for a museum here. I will transport it. Good! Hold on a second, don't leave yet. We are getting a long-range message which appears to be for you. There is no identification as to who the sender is, but they ask you to go to sector 25613-10247. negative That is the end of the message and there is no explanation. This is very strange. I hope it makes sense to you. Yeah, it does. Alright, no cargo. So we go back to the planet that we were at to get the E-Band Converter. We can return and deal with those pirates later. I like that there's different music in this game. The music actually isn't too bad considering how old the game is.
Uh, we only get the name. Cool. <laughs> okay, your job is done then. See you later, buddy. What about my pay? Oh, yes, yes. I almost forgot. Well, actually, I was hoping you would forget. Here it is. And take with E. And take... Wow. Again, I can't read English. Here it is, and in the form you wanted. Take the E-band converter that you sold me six months ago to cover your debts at that time. Any more work for me? Sorry, bud, we can't afford to employ any more people. I hear the army's looking for desperate people who are willing to risk it all for almost nothing. Army? Yes, I heard about some sort of test that is required to enter the army. I guess you need to set this sort of skill to get in. Alright. We're gonna turn on the E-band converter. Wow, th that was weird. Okay, uh, for some reason it didn't show anything. You see those five blue blobs in the lower right corner? Those aren't planets, those are actually vortices. We'll get to see those soon. But first, let's go to this moon. Um, yeah, okay. All we get is a name. Not even no information, no, just a name. Pretty sure this is the ship we need to go visit. Maybe not, but I think it is. Uh. Oh, yes, it's cool. Greetings, bounty hunter. It has been a long time, has it not? You have waited a year for us to appear again. It is time now. Things are moving towards our goal, and we'll need your help very soon. Who are you? Do you forget so soon? I greeted you after your escape from your solar system. You managed to escape the shield which. Our people put around your system, the shield which will cause the eventual destruction of your race. What help? I will only tell you that we need you in the near future. You must get to the proper destination to help us though. To get there, you will need to get into the army which patrols the solar system along with a few other systems. I have sent an anonymous message from the, to, uh, to the recruiter that an appropriate candidate will soon be there. Go to sector 25565 negative 10259 and see the recruiter. Once in the army, you will need to search the places that you will go for another of our kind. We'll give you directions from there. I'm pretty sure I butchered that. Let me try it again. Once in the army, you will need to search the places that you go for another of our kind who will give you directions from there. Okay, I did butcher it. Good luck and pray that we succeed. What is your goal? I represent a growing number of our people who wish to remove the shields from all our experimental colonies. Long ago, members of our race decided to learn about other races by putting combinations of incompatible species in solar systems encased by huge shields. They would be studied and pushed towards an explosive encounter which would destroy both races inside the jar. We wish to stop these cruel experiments, and the time to do it will soon be upon us. How would you stop it? We cannot disclose that information now. It is safe to say that you must be involved. Only with your help can we succeed. What proper destination? It is a solar system very far from here. That is why you must get in the army. They have access to patrols, which can take you there. What are portals? Portals are small, localized, and stable holes in the space-time continuum. They provide quick and easy transportation to very distant places. These holes require special radiation emissions to activate them. Each hole has its own radiation spectrum required key to open them. Oh, another cutscene. Somewhere near Earth. A fleet of ships carrying thousands of humans unknowingly advances towards the shield around their solar system. I believe the recruiter... Actually, where is the recruiter? He's this red dot over here on the far right, I guess. A far left, rather, I guess, so. We'll go see him. Maybe stop at a planet along the way.
is to check out the planet. It's more or less along the way. Home to the army base, which patrols this system as well as a number of others. Atlas. Very nice ship. You just might prove to be as good as we've been told. I am Captain Rusa. I am here to test to see if you qualify to enlist in the army. Are you ready to take the test? Eh, tell me about this army. The army is based here in this system, but we patrol five other solar systems. We have always had problems in this area of the galaxy. There are bandits, pirates, assassins, and hordes of other scum which hang out in the region. There is always stirring up trouble, and it's up to us to wipe out the real troublemakers. That is why we are always looking for new recruits. What is the test? The test is a type of race. There are seven targets which you must shoot. We time you from the first explosion to the last. If you make it in under a certain time, then you can join the army. If not, well, you can try again. How quickly? Well, you go out and shoot, and then I will tell you if you make it. Just go as fast as you can. I will take the test. Excellent. I will go set up the targets. Go and shoot them up. Remember, destroy the targets as quickly as you can. Come back to me, and if you make it in time, you will be enlisted. I don't know if there's actually a time limit. I really don't. So I'm kind of curious now. What happens if I take a long time to destroy the last one? These targets don't provide any E-band emissions when you shoot them. not the most efficient route. A bit of background while I'm getting rid of the targets. Is that the first game I played for the first time back in 96? This one I didn't get to play until 2009. I'm pretty sure it was abandoned by then. Um, I was actually in Mexico when I searched for a copy and found it and played it. And, uh, the first game took me forever to beat because as a kid I wasn't all that bright at solving puzzles like this. Um, and then this version took me maybe one to two hours. It didn't take long at all. Very good. You just made it in time. Welcome to the army. Go to sector 25582 minus 2... Uh, wow, minus 10252 and speak with Colonel Gim about signing up. He will be expecting you. Uh, I want to deal with the pirates first, to be honest. I can go talk to the Colonel afterwards and... We can get another look at this moon. Oh, um, cool. <laughs> Glad I went out of my way to find that out. It's so helpful. challenging. Craft known to be used by pirates in the area. Oh man, this isn't good. I need to get one of these out of the way real quick, I think. Uh, that does it. <laughs> I was wanting to blow them up, but okay. 10 gigawatts for each of those, huh? Wow. This is hardly worth it. But, you know, if I'm in the military, um, 
then yeah, I really should uh, get rid of these pirates, should I? If I can. They're small, maneuverable ships. They're hard to hit. There we go. This dude's flying away. Oh, now he's coming back. He doubled around. Craft known to be used by pirates. Oh! Interesting. I probably shouldn't have killed those other dudes. Um, so I guess he's not gonna hurt me? Two five eight two and ten two five two. Okay. Oh, okay. Not a very fast ship, that's for sure. Maneuverable, but not very fast. Uh, dude said to put power into weapons, so I will do that, and then put the rest into life support. Uh, I think I'm headed roughly in the right direction, but I'm not certain. Two five five eight two. Okay. I gotta go to this planet down here. Okay, that makes sense. And at that point, I will be in the military. Welcome to the army. I am Colonel Gibb. I will organize your missing and get you started. First of all, you need to outfit your spaceship and get it up to minimum army standards. Once that is done, you can go on your first mission. What is the first mission? The first mission will be to go to the Tamora system. There is a group of unidentified ships which are terrorizing the people there. They've killed many already, and you are to go there and show no mercy! Missions? Yes, here in the army, you will only be needed for missions involving the removal of enemies from peaceful solar systems. There are a lot of around at this time. I hope you are ready for the action you will see. Equip my ship. Okay, we will load you up for your first mission right away. I'll take mission one. Good! I'm transporting a device which is the key to entering the portal to the Tamora system. The portal is in sector 25631 minus 10265. Once there, you must kill the seven ships which are causing all the chaos there. Once they have been removed, return to me and we will set you up for your next mission. And now we go see these blobs. And if you take a look, um, this is the red key. Um, so identified because of the red gemstone in the middle. Um, there are several different keys, as you probably guessed. Um, I don't know what the other colors are offhand. I think one of them's brown? Um, but you'll use these keys to open the various vortices that we're headed to right now. And, um, you use the same keys to get back, of course, but the other systems, they only have one vortex, so you can't, like, Daisy chain them together or anything. And also, when you go get the second key, they take back the first one. When you get the third key, they take back the second one, etc. So, you can only go to one of these systems at a time, as far as I know. Um, I couldn't be wrong about that. It's been a few years since I played this game. But I thought tonight would be an interesting one to spark up the game. Almost at one of the vortices, and they all look like this. The other thing too. Um, they're gonna look really familiar really quickly, and you don't even get to see the inside when you can scan it. Can you scan it? Just says portal. Okay. Uh, that item is not useful. Now. This is the wrong portal. Um, so let's go to this one up here then. Oh, there's somebody up here.
Diamond, Army Issue Class 2 Warship. Hi, you look like a man in search of a battle. I'm Eric Mengon. I am the Army... Uh, wow, I am the Army. <laughs> One man Army. <laughs> I am in the Army, which patrols this area. What do you do? I'm in the Army too. Excellent! That means you must be off to do battle then. Save your missiles for the guy that you know will be tough. Put lots of power into your life support and even more into your side shields. I find that the chances of being hit on the forward section of your wings is greatest. Put your leftover power into weapons and always check your opponent's weapon and shield configurations before battle so you know how to approach them. These are just my personal tips in battle. I hope they help. I have no job. Too bad, you should join the army. I'm Jake Stone. It's a pleasure to meet you, Jake Stone. And then that's the end. Alright! See? It just. It's like a little mini cutscene and then it warps you away. Uh, we then need to communicate with these guys that look like blobs. Like, when I first saw this, I laughed. Like, this just looks so ridiculous. Hello, officer. Uh, no, that's not how he talks at all. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hello, what is the problem, officer? You are killing people. That is just not true. We are doing no such thing. My friends and I are just visiting the area looking for a good time. You must leave. We have no reason to leave here. We have done nothing wrong. You are lying. Well, okay, you caught me. We are going around here killing and destroying. You are next, officer. Yeah, I want to bet. Wow, you put up a bus. 58 gigawatts. That is nice. Dump all that into life support. And three left over to the engine. Okay, so it looks like we'll go here next. Um, this planet shows up as a yellow dot, which is kind of interesting. Oh, there's two dudes here. happen a lot. Alright. No response. Okay. So now the two dudes down here. Uh, in kind of rough shape. You know what, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll take care of these dudes up here first. Give my ship a chance to repair before I do battle again with two of them at the same time. I shouldn't have had that much trouble, but I clearly am a bit rusty at this. As you can see, this star chart looks nothing like the star chart from the first game. We wouldn't want this to make any sense. Uh, but yeah, this should be like near the center and further up towards the top. There should be the three solar systems that we're familiar with from the first game. They're not there. No sign of them. So we're just gonna take up this dude here. done. There we go. And we may as well scan this planet. No response. Alright. I grew up with the music in the first game, I kind of like the music in this game better. Tyrus. And it looks like a very nice planet to be honest. Well, that was easy. Uh, yeah, 
let's go check out these planets here. Why not? Mendova. And uh, no response to the main channel there. Get used to that. None of these planets talk to you, as far as I know. There might be one that does, but I don't know this. Who they got? Alright. See how much slower that is than when you're at top engine speed? Oof. I don't be doing this too often. But that only took like 5 gigawatts of energy to get through, so I guess that's not too bad. That's what you do, you get them separate. Right, that's the end of them. That, uh, that looks a lot like one of the Rickian planets, actually. I imagine a number of the sprites got reused from the past game. I mean, it's a lot easier to do that than to make new art. But there is some new art in this game. I mean, look at that strange-looking green blob we chatted with when we first entered the system. He certainly know. It's too bad we don't see him again. There's a few others we see again. But uh, he ain't one of them. He, he's not gonna be back this game. Uh, no response on any channel. This is Latomus. Um, there's another rigging plant that looks like that, I think, too. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll just jet off to the portal. We're getting used to this. Wow, that was pretty good. And then we go back to the military base. I think they'll give us more stuff, like more energy, so... I can afford to hyperdrive over there. Oops, I did not mean to skip that. Send communication. There we go. Your next mission is the Romovia system. We've learned that a woman named Roki is going to assassinate the head of the Grand Council of Romovia. You must stop her by using whatever force is necessary. Get back here as soon as you can after you are finished. There are many other things which need to be done. Equip my ship. We are loading you up for mission two. Let's start mission two. Good. I'm exchanging your red key for a new one. It will take you to the Romovian system through a portal in sector 25637, negative 10265. Find Roki and stop her. Return to me when finished. I am absolutely not going to bother remember. Oh yeah, here's the red key. I didn't forget that quickly. Please tell me I have some extra energy. Oh, good, I do. <laughs> I am not going to bother to remember uh, exactly which... Uh, which one is the correct portal? We're just gonna head over. We're already a little bit quicker, even though we don't have a huge amount of energy in the engine portal. This is probably the right one here. And it is! So we zoom out here. A uh, very small system. And I think she's near the topmost planet on this map, the Assassin. So we'll go there last. Aside from the moon that appears to be orbiting it. Uh, again, Star Charge is not consistent with the previous game at all. Ooh, what's this? Oh, there's little dots on this map. I never noticed that. We're gonna check these out. No response. Look two. And I guess the other is look one. G 
Angelic. Lokorn, just like I thought. No response on any channel. Go to the sun. See what it's called. Romovia is my guess, but we'll uh, we'll double check and see. Yeah, there's nobody on the sun to communicate with. Big surprise there. Now we'll take a trip up to this planet, which I'm pretty sure is where the head of the council is. Uh, I don't know if she lives there or just works there. Um, but she's the target of the assassin? I don't even know if they told us her name. But, well, we'll get some more backstory as we talk to this person, I'm sure. In case you couldn't tell, I'm trying to save energy by not hyperdriving up there. I'm trying to stretch out things by talking about stuff. Which I'm not good at. Clearly I need to practice. This is Pentos. Ensign, welcome to the skies of Romovia. I am Phenia, representative of the Grand Council of Romovia. I've been informed of your duties here. We wish you luck in your search. If you fail, our system will be thrown into chaos. And you could actually say here, you are very attractive. To which she responds, Why, sir, you are very informal, but thank you. You are not so bad yourself. Thank you. You are welcome. And then we're off to go find the assassin. Thinking this military's not big on HR. <laughs> Just, they don't care. Just about there, they should be coming up onto this on the on the mini map soon. Okay, there's the planet. There's the assassin. Sintop. No. Okay. It's interesting that this shows up as a moon. Oh, there's a moon there. I see I have been discovered. Well, that is of no consequence. Prepare for battle, friend. You must die, else my plans will be ruined. I d did take ever so long to plan this, and I will see that nothing gets in my way. What is your plan? You know who I am, or you would not be here. As to how I will perform the assassination, well, I really can't divulge that information to you, just in case you have a transmitter on your ship and there are more of you nearby. I can stop you. You cannot stop me, worm. You are nothing but a servant to a decaying and crippled army. Your time has come. Prepare to die! Someone should tell this lady that she's not Inigo Montoya. You got one hit point left, I got a whole bunch. And just like that, 17 gigawatts for that, that's kind of interesting. Let me off! Alright, dump that into the engines. No, that's not what I meant to press, I need to get out of war mode. We'll zip on back down to this point. Same text as earlier, so I'm not going to read it again. The assassin is dead. The council will be very pleased. The council wishes to present you a gift to you in return for your great deed. I accept the gift. 
Yes, we will transport it over to your ship as soon as possible. Thank you again for your help. Our system is forever in your debt. Uh, given how sparse energy tends to be, I am not turning down a free gift. Uh, I am curious as to what it is. Uh, uh, it's not the brown key, it's the Lyak crystals. Crystals installed in reactor core, and that gives us 100 gigawatts of energy. Just zip on down there. It will go a lot faster. And we'll use the ground key to transport back. And we'll zip off. We'll zip off, rather. Back to the military base. You must now head into the Reek system for a routine patrol. There is no specific problems reported at this time, but we must patrol all regions at regular intervals. If you see any problems, take care of them. Return to me after patrolling the entire system, stamping out any problems you discover. Put my ship. Let's start mission three. Okay, I'm giving you a new key which will allow you to access the Reek system through the portal and yeah, whatever. Patrol the system and return to me when it is all clear. yellow key, which is very similar to the brown key, at least to me. Uh, yes, more power. We have 10 gigawatts left over. I think it's that uh, furthest away from the base that we need to get to. A new army recruit! I'm Jorgen Amla, a new recruit in the army. If you just joined, welcome aboard. I'm Jake Stone. Nice to meet you, Jake. Not a new recruit. That's too bad. You don't need to see our recruiter sometime. I don't know why we only have the option of lying to this guy, but uh, that item is not usable now. Okay. In that case, uh, we'll try this one down here. There's gotta be one of, gotta be this one or the other one. Well, what is this? The police are after us. What are you going to do? Arrest us? I'm so scared. Really? I'll fry you. No, you won't. off in the last video because I didn't need shields, but I think we'll do that now. Um, those will never wear out as long as they don't take damage. Once somebody shoots them, then yeah, they will start to wear out. Check 
of this planet here. Muffin. Alright. Two gigawatts of energy left over. We're gonna head towards the sun. Just to scan it. Because we like scanning things, but why not? I think I'm gonna zip over there, it's a pretty short distance. Head over there normally. Planet, so we scan it. That's how that works. Elank, or Elank, or however you want to pronounce that, I don't know. Um, that dude's the last one left. He's not terribly far either, I guess we'll just go to him normally. Uh, ship repairs to be coming along nicely. I'm, my square's no longer that. Gray color that is not fun looking. It's more of a green than a gray. Kind of wish there was somewhere on the panel that would show you hit points, so you have a better idea of how much abuse the ship can take. But I mean, if anything, I don't really need it at this point. This game's not that hard. Oh, there's two of them here. <laughs> That's a name. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take my shields down now. I don't think I need them anymore. We'll turn them off. We'll take that energy back. We have over 100 gigawatts extra. We lost a bit of weapon. Just a little tiny bit. Now I feel pretty confident just zipping around the universe everywhere at hyperdrive speed. Send him. Right, the last place to check out is here. Higher. Okay. Back we go. This guy. The Guan Isle system has been invaded. We have not patrolled that system in a while, and it seems that some alien race has come in and set up their base in the system. They have control over the entire system at this time. You must get in there and gain control. Your primary target is the command ship, but take out as many of the fighters as possible. Return to me when the task is complete. Equip my ship. Let's start mission four. I'm transporting the key to access the Guan Isle system. Use it on the portal in that sector to get to the system. Seek out the command ship and destroy it and return to me when finished. Okay, that's easy enough to do. Well, oh, you're right. Uh, take off, I think it's probably going to be the one furthest away now. So let's do this, go there. Is that one? All right. It appears that we are meeting our first resistance. That is good. We've had so little opportunity to do battle. Leave this system! I don't think so. You will have to talk to the Overlord regarding the details of that. It will be difficult since you will be dead. Dead? Why, yes, I will kill you. 
I will fight you. Very good. I am looking forward to it. These ships look familiar. That was easy enough. Alright, let's take a look. Oh, we gotta go this way first, I guess. Yeah, we can just zip over with hyperdrive. So quick. There's no response. Oh, there's two of them here. Let's. Okay. What? Right. Now we'll go with shields again. As you add more power, the shields get a lighter red. Um, at maximum power, they actually turn white. Take power out in the engines for a bit. We'll see if we can boost shields to max and just so we can see what that looks like. Uh, probably not. Alright, let's drain the engines entirely. I don't think I'll take that many hits. No, 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 I definitely can't power up the shields to max. But I can get somewhat close, so let's... Now we're at a point where we're very unlikely to take damage from these dudes. Or if we do, the damage should be minimal. Yeah, it's hard to tell, but there's two of them there. You just barely make them out on the mini-map. That would work. I don't know how quickly they were shooting at me. Well, these dudes only provide 15, uh, I think we lost. They provided 20 in the previous one. Oh, anyway. Alright, well, I shouldn't need shields anymore. I should be good. Maybe we'll dump all that back into the engines. Oh, there's two somebody's here. Alright. Well, again, we'll, uh, we'll raise the shields. We can use five now, which I don't know why we can.
Alright. We'll go face these guys now. Different kinds of missiles. Say simplify, which is an abbreviation for the slogan of the movie. Semper Fidelis, always faithful. Guanile, there's nobody on the stair to talk to. Alright, so we'll put all of that back into the engines again. Increase engine power to maximum. And then it's just a skip and a hop to get to this dude. And Star Trek still makes no sense. It looks a bit like looks a bit like a ripoff of the big dipper actually. We don't know who these dudes are, and they're not going to tell us. I wonder if you can actually talk to the old one. Alright. We're going up there next, but let's check out this planet. The Lovian. Rock here. Dem Urn. Interesting. No, oh, can't communicate with this guy either. That was easy. Maybe one of these two is the overlord. There was a rock next to that planet too, I just didn't play enough. Enough that I don't need to hyperdrive over there. Like... 
you're the overlord. Oh, you have that stupid thing on your head. Cool. You must be here to object to my position as overlord of these planets. I understand your concerns, but I assure you that I will rule this region with an iron fist. There will be no problems with this order of these people under my command. Why are you here? We found these weak people and decided that they needed guidance. We came here and took control. We were banished from the place we came from, so we have been searching for a home ever since. Now we have found it. Who are you? I'm Dinoth, overlord of the Guan Isle. Welcome to my system. You must leave. Leave? But why? We only just arrived and we plan to stay for a very long time. Nothing will make us leave. Not even you. I will make you leave. How could you make us leave? You are but an insect to us. If you declare war, we will crush you! No, you won't. I mean, I destroyed all the ships in the system. His is the only one left aside from mine. Die, insect! No. Nearly dead. There you go. Uh, did I check out that rock? I don't think I did. I'll check out that rock and then we'll leave. Delevian. That sounds familiar. I think I did check it out at one point. Your next mission is to wipe out a large band of pirates who are traveling in a pack in the Miko system. Your mission will be tricky since they travel together and that way they will prove to be a strong adversary. Yeah, I quit my ship anyway. Let's start mission 5. I'm giving you the key to the Miko system portal. You'll find the portal in that sector, remove the pirates, and then return to me. Oh, hyperdrive over there. Bottom one. Which key did we get? We got the gray key. Alright, we're probably gonna want shields for this. We have enough to power all the shields, but let's try it. Uh, not a chance. Not unless we drain the engines. Oops. If we drain the engines, we should have enough.
put all that energy back into the engine. Power up the hyperdrive to the maximum, and then we'll practically be at that planet that we're going Oh, hello. I'm glad you came to see me. The time has come for you to move closer to your goal. Are you ready? Who are you? I am Tim Tack. I am of the Alliance to Preserve All Life. You know one of my friends. I have, I have been situated here to guide you on your journey. What is my goal? You must help us shut down the 12 force fields which now encompass 36 solar systems. It will not be enough to simply turn off the fields. We must also destroy the portals to these places so the experiments cannot be restarted. This will give the people of those planets a chance to survive on their own. I am ready. You must take this portal key and use it on the portal in sector negative 805-7674. That portal will take you to, to close to the solar system which contains the home planet of my people. The star of my system is in sector negative 12544-3840. It will be the closest solar system to this position where the portal takes you. Once you are in my home system, seek out your next contact. You will be relatively safe in that system. Our people are used to hominids of your type. Go now and good luck. That's all there is to that, I guess. Let's take off towards this star. Mikos, and there's nobody on the star to talk to. There's two people here. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, this is where we peace out a bit. That's right, keep shooting each other. You can get hit each other. I just need one of them gone, and then I can probably get the rest. Ooh, something bugged out on my display, look at that. Ooh, the longer this goes on, the more buggy it gets, eh? Eh? <laughs> There's my Canadian coming out. You guys have the weakest weapons in the world. I should have just taken you head on. I can do this all day. How is he taking this many hits? There we go, finally. Talk to this guy? No. 
threatening them, not the other way around. Doing this as well as I normally do, though. this stupid star anyway. I'm curious. I went through all that hassle, I should at least scan the stupid thing. Valha. What's the mission? Okay. 12, 5, 44, 38. We need to hit this one. Okay. Alright. Do that. I'm not doing that. I guess some energy to spare at least. And I'm not sure what these icons mean. Like K? I don't know what that means. B? I don't know, but I got a lot of them. B? Same deal. Let's let's try B for a bit. Let's see what that does. Ooh. U. That looks kinda nice actually. Heading the right way. No, uh, I am not. I'm going the completely wrong way. Uh, I need to head down and to the right. Yeah, I'm terrible at navigating. It's ridiculous. I'm kind of amateur. Just cruising along. Uh, oh, it should be coming on my screen at any time. Oh, 544. Oh, there it is. Our first stop would be the sun. And it looks like in the lower right there's more portals, but only three. Here out of nowhere. Aklan. Nobody on the star. Fuck off. Probably not a bad thing. Looks like there's a second star in this system. I'll have to check that out. Uh, the news 
time to pop up the engine. Pop up engine speed. And that will put us close to where we need to uh, be. I'm going to save the game. Um, just in case I have to restart from this point. Shouldn't have to. Don't expect anything that's going to happen. But you never know. The power could flicker or something, and that would be the end of my game. Wouldn't want that. This was long before autosave was common. No response on any channel. I know there's somebody I need to talk to somewhere. And I think he's around here somewhere. Slipping. No. I'm starting to see a pattern of these names. They all send in, they all end in ick. Oh, Lenovia doesn't. But there's no response there. Okay. Well. I want to check out that planet down at the bottom last. Let's jet over here. Can't. I wanted the opportunity to name that star, but I can't. Opic. Ah, here we go. I'm glad to see you made it safely. I am your contact. I hold a very high position for my people who run these experiments, and they do not know that I'm secretly working against them. I've sent word that you should be considered as a candidate for an experiment maintenance job. This is a position which will get you close to the shield and portal controller. This huge device is the key to our success. Once it is destroyed, all experiments will stop, and the portals to the experiments will be null. This will give the beings who live inside the experiment shield a chance to live on their own. My recommendation that you be considered for a position with experiment maintenance holds a great weight. You should be admitted with no problem. Uh, go to negative 12, 581, 3831. They will be expecting you now. Remember, we've spent years setting up for this event, and it is up to you to carry it out. Good luck, and don't fail us. Why can't you do this? We cannot do this because we can't enter most of the solar systems that we study. Our appearance is generally too much unlike the beings we observe. Most races under observation look much like yourself. They are generally of the human race or a humanoid in appearance. It is far easier and safer to hire someone such as yourself rather than risk the danger and exposure we subject ourselves to using disguises. In addition, only maintenance personnel come close to control in their activities. It is off limits to everyone, including myself. So you see why we have need for you. Controller? The controller is a small, cloaked ship which sequences all of the shields surrounding the solar systems which are being studied. It also generates the power to support the portals which lead to these solar systems. Without power, the portals will collapse, leaving no way to get to the solar systems. It would take years to travel to these places, even at hyperspeeds. Therefore, if the portals and shields are gone, the people of the solar systems are safe from interference from us. Please remember that the only way to destroy the controller is to destroy each and every one of the defense droids. This will unlock the controller, which will then defend itself. That will be the only time when you'll be able to directly attack the controller. Experiment maintenance? It is a group which pushes the victims of specific experiments towards goals which seem worth studying. For example, a maintenance person might have to destroy a certain ship and make it look like somebody else did it. That might start a war, which would be studied by my people. Goals? The goals vary from small plagues to wars to the total destruction of all life in the solar system. It is quite easy to, to gently push a race to destruction without their knowing, if you know the right buttons to push. The goals are determined by what has been studied. I believe your race is soon scheduled for total destruction. This is another reason why you have been chosen. You have a great incentive to destroy the controller. Alright, let's go to this planet. Just to see what it is, because we like to scan all our planets. And once we scan this one, we'll go to the right planet. Unless this is the right planet. Where? Where is the right planet? Okay. Mission. Wow. Mission 1's never gonna be complete, because I no longer have that key. Mission 2 was completed, but I guess because Mission 1 wasn't complete, Mission 2 can't be complete? 
Uh, and then I need to meet the new boss and negative 12, 581, 3831. Interesting. Interesting. What is this plan? I Meyer. Nope, that is not the right one. I guess I maybe I did have the right idea and I just came here too soon. It's gotta be. What's this one called again? Slithic. Ah yes, our new candidate. We have great need for you at this time. The position we'll take has been recently vacated. The man messed up and got caught, so we had to terminate him. You will start your missions right away. Your ship has now been equipped with a disruptor. This is for us, so that if you screw up in any way, we can terminate you instantly. As you can see, once you came here, there was no turning back. You are now a member of our crew. You will get started then. Are you ready for the first mission? Terminate? Yes. We must have some absolute method to keep our people in line. We can afford no mistakes, and if an employee gets caught by somebody in one of the experimental solar systems, we must have assurance that they will not speak. The disruptor that we install on all employee ships can be activated at any time to eradicate the ship. Rue, you are on our team now and will be so until you are no use to us. You are of an insignificant species and are considered expendable. I am right. Very good. Take this key and travel to sector near there. Take the portal there and then move to that sector. Near there, you will find a ship. Give him the item that we will load onto your ship, wait a few moments, and then destroy the same ship. That is all you have to do. Simple, isn't it? Return to me when your mission is complete. Uh, I don't know which one that is out there. So let's try this one up here. Brown key, usable, that's a rock. Okay. And we'll try this one. These all seem fairly close together, so I shouldn't have to rush it. Uh, I, I didn't want to use the rock. Key there. There we go. Okay, person rule fifteen, five, six, seven, We'll get there eventually. Why myth? Why not a myth? Check out this planet too. Heal it. Um, yeah, 
Nenth, I guess. The M is silent. So there's nobody on the surface of the star to talk to. Uh, that's a bit less than a jump so we're just gonna hyperspace it, I guess. Dasius. Sounds a bit like uh, uh, Spanish for thanks for the gift. Din. Probably the dude we need to talk to. That's the dude we need to talk to. Good. I'm glad that you have arrived early. The people of your planet are very generous to offer this mineral. The mineral you bring will make my people very happy. Who are you? I am Ganlon, Minister of Health for my people. The mineral you offer will heal millions. What is this mineral? Do you not know? It is the key element in producing Imbok, a drug which will kill the virus which plagues my people. The sample you have is the only one known to exist, and therefore it is the most precious thing in the universe to my people at this time. Virus? The plague started a few weeks ago. It is slowly killing my people. Only a few have died so far, but millions have caught the virus, and in weeks it will be billions. If we don't have the Imbok, we will all die in a matter of a few years. I was told to kill you. Kill me? Why? It would mean the destruction of my people. It would throw our two planets into a brutal war. It would be that much more horrible a war since our people would be fighting with the knowledge that they were to die anyway. Why would you do such a thing? You are an experiment. Thank you for explaining the situation. You will not be destroyed for telling me? Will you still kill me? Perhaps you can transport the mineral to me, and then I'll transport myself to that nearby planet. You can then destroy my ship. Maybe this will fool the people you are working for. Will you try it? Let's try your plan. Good, I hope it works. I have the mineral and I am transporting now. Done. You may prove to be a very good employee. Your next mission will take you near the controller. There you will find a small planet which orbits the controller. Deliver these cables to the crew on that planet. Please do not get too close to the controller. The defense system will attack anything that comes near. This mission is quite trivial. I expect it to be accomplished very quickly. Ready? I am ready. Good. Here are the wires and the key to the portal in sector there. Once you go through to the that sector and deliver the wires to the planet at that location. Now go and complete your mission. I don't think I could have botched that any worse than I did. Uh, the controller is not a nice creature. Well, it's not a creature. It's not a nice thing, though. Probably not. I don't think it'd be that easy to get through the portals, but you never know. We have a red key again. No reason to transport that now. Oh, this is the one. Okay. That must be the controller. So we're gonna save here again. 
just in case. And weapons. Keeping these wires. There's a lot of combat at the controller. As you can see, there's eight or nine droids on the minimap surrounding it. Looks like Cassiopeia. Decloaking. Controller, this device controls all the- oh, whoops. Let me read this! This device controls all portals and shields of the experimental portals. Oh man, can you let me hit you? Stop this! <laughs> Solar Winds. I hope you've enjoyed the game. Look for new games from Stone Interactive Media in the future. Solar Winds is just the first of many new and exciting games. And that is how you beat uh, Solar Winds 2 Universe. Um, and with that, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, feel free to hit the like and subscribe buttons. It would mean a lot to the channel if you did that. And please feel free to leave your comments down below. I would love to see what you have to say. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching, and take care, everybody. Keep playing. Bye.